today. However, there was one system that marred it from being a true masterpiece, like all the other games by From Software, their online and co-op functionality. If there is one system in these games that is grossly outdated and in desperate need of a complete fundamental rework from the ground up, it's the online functionality of the Souls game. At this point, whether or not these systems make sense from a lore perspective, I couldn't really care less. I would like these systems to be simple, intuitive, and hassle-free. And sadly, that's not the case for any of the games. Again, From Software ties these games' online features to the lore, and you have to t make it sense within the story they are trying to convey. Use a certain item, make sure you're in the same area you want to explore, use a password, don't die, otherwise you've got to do the process all over again. It's tedious. It really is. Luckily for all the PC players out there, sorry console goers, there is a remedy for this, and it honestly should be how all these games work going forward. Seamless Co-op, a fan-made mod by Luke Yui on Nexus Mods allows players to really bridge the gap between worlds and just join in and out as we please. No phantoms, no timing the items correctly to get the search window to catch, you pick a place, you open your world, and people can join. And the best part? They stay, even if you die. And if you're a cooperator for someone and you die, you just respawn at the last rested site of grace. It's phenomenal. With this mod comes some changes to the world. Firstly, the enemies have more health and it scales the more allies you have in your world. Very similar to how it works with boss fights in the vanilla game. Speaking of bosses, they also get their HP pool increased as well, making some fights go from fairly easy to somewhat of a decent challenge, at least early game, because your low damage is now really offset by bosses having a lot more health than you're used to. Again, this only applies if you have people in your world helping, and scales the more people you have helping. Now every enemy is affected by this modifier, and should you die, there are random debuffs that are applied to help prevent players from potentially griefing or messing up your world and not helping, which are removed when you rest at a grace. It's a really well thought out system, and while it's still technically in beta, and I have run into some silly glitches and more serious bugs playing with this mod, it works really well. Progression is something interesting to note as well. I can't exactly explain how it works, but progression in one world is somewhat carried over in another. And what I mean by this is, if you join someone's world and work together to kill a boss, you get the credit for it, of course. And if they have a great rune, you unlock it. But if you go back into your own world and haven't killed that boss yet, not only can you fight the boss again, but doing so grants the runes it normally does, but not the great rune, because the game knows you already have it, so it doesn't drop it upon defeating a shard bearer. This has caused some interesting and unfortunate issues where I joined someone's world with my friends, and one of them who also joined got the outfit for Jaren. You know, the guy who starts the Radon Festival in like the Jester outfit, which meant in his world, the game thought he was dead and couldn't fight Radon in his own world. It's kind of hard to explain, but basically a lot of the time when you join a world, you would just get random loot and runes without having actually done anything. It's strange and definitely one of those beta things that will hopefully be ironed out over time. Another oddity that happened was sometimes enemies would, and especially bosses, would stand still and not do much for a few seconds. Something about their AI def definitely didn't like having four people beating its ass at the same time. But this was definitely more on the minor side of bugs and issues that I came across. And to be fair, besides the big Radon bug, we really didn't run into many issues. Other than a little desync when players are on torrent, things were running smooth. Load times were a lot longer as well if you weren't the host. And I mean, at this point, I'm besides the bug with Verdon, I'm trying to find things to talk about that are bad. This experience is actually really special. However, the existence of this mod raises two different concerns. Invasion and PvP as a whole, and how From Software should potentially handle online functionality in future titles. One aspect to all the Souls games is the invasion and subsequent PvP systems. They've been there since Demon Souls, and are honestly kind of an integral part of these games. Having your world be invaded by another player adds a level of stress that wasn't there before they invaded. It can create some interesting scenarios where now you're not only fighting against the world, but now another player and who's using the world against you. And while there are people who wish the invasion systems didn't exist at all, I still find them important to the game. But the seamless co-op mod removes that entirely. You can't be invaded because you're offline and it's a mod. It was already difficult enough before in the vanilla game because you had to have a friendly phantom in your world but now that's removed entirely as well. Some love it, and some worry that it'll kind of help facilitate the kneecapping of PvP in Elden Ring. I don't think that was the case, however, because it was already restricted even more than previous games. Invasions were just happening less often. Unless you used the Taunter's Tongue to allow invaders into your solo world, you could only get invaded if you were co-oping with somebody. 
But this mod begs the question of how From Software should create future online modes for their games. Part of me loves how the items and the mechanics are tied into the lore, but at the same time I feel as though it is an ancient relic of the past and is way overdue for some modern quality of life changes to make it more streamlined and easier to use. This is something I feel as though a lot of people probably have devices of opinions on, so let me know in the comments how you feel about the online mechanics of Souls games. Seamless Co-op is a fantastic mod because it allows players to play with their friends easily and explore the entire world of the lands between, which is what I imagined when we all first booted up the game and saw it. Man, I can't wait to explore this with my friends, or I wish we could all just ride around on Torrent and explore the game. I guess we've all had at least one of those two thoughts, but now we can and it's great. If you have Elden Ring on PC, I highly recommend this mod from Nexus Mods and to give it a try. It's easy to install and it gives you another reason to play through the game once more. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch this video and if you enjoyed, please subscribe for more videos on the topics that we all enjoy such as this. I hope this